isn't it great to get away for the weekend? <laughs> yeah, all those shows on Friday and Saturday nights. Ugh. You know we're more than just shows, right? Me? Yeah. Rapid fire means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Yeah. The people at Rapid Fire Theater are my family. It formed every aspect of my life. There is no funnier place. Made amazing friends. I've had employment opportunities. It's given me the opportunity to continue developing my career in the arts and cultural industry here in Edmonton, Alberta. When we're on stage, we don't have to do the status quo. We get to kind of express ourselves and show the audience what the world could be like, which I think is really magical. You know, I joined Rapid Fire Theater way back in high school. Me too! Same. Wow, Rapid Fire sure does a lot for the youth of Edmonton. We have classes for kids as young as 10 years old. We teach junior high kids and high school kids. We produce a month-long teen improv festival, the Wildfire Fest, as well as a monthly improv league, the Northern Alberta Improv League. We host workshops for at-risk youth and inner city schools through our outreach program. When I was 17 and I was there for 13 years, and that's a really long time uh, for a young person to be part of something. I started doing improv when I was in high school, and at a rapid fire show was the first time that I actually saw two female performers doing a troupe together on stage, just the two of them. It was then that I realized, oh, actually there is a space for me in comedy, and it really meant a lot. In a circle with all of the students we were teaching, and it was like 90% of the students were indigenous, and it was the first time I think I've been in a room with that many people who look like me. And I was overjoyed at what the future of improv could be. It's not just the youth that benefits, though. Of course not. It's life skills, social skills, career skills. It'll help. The ability to work well with others is not a skill that's just for improv. Talking to people is hard. Meeting people, very hard. I have used improv skills uh, in every job that I have ever had. I'm just a more well-rounded, confident person because I've done improv. I can't believe people think we only do comedy. I know, right? We're so much more than just making jokes. <laughs> Why is no one helping me? We've done workshops with ATB's brand team on creativity. We've taught leadership through improv to senior leaders at EPCOR. Given interactive keynote presentations to CPAs. We've taught interview skills to recent grads at the University of Alberta. Shown the power of positivity to big business in Edmonton. Given mindfulness and play to recovering cancer patients and their families. We are the biggest producer at the world's second largest fringe festival. We produce Improvaganza, which is one of the most sought after improv festivals in the world. You know, this reminds me how Rapid Fire should get its own theater. Oh, it'd be so nice to have a theater that we can call our own. Oh, I just had a wonderful dream. The community of Edmonton came together and helped us get a proper theater space. It was magical. Having our own space means that we can offer dynamic programming that attracts new audiences and allows us to continue telling stories. Do you live in Edmonton? Do you like to smile? Do you like to laugh? Then you're gonna wanna donate to Rapid Fire Theatre and get them their own space. You're not just supporting our venue and our dreams, you're supporting the dreams of many young improvisers to come. I heartily encourage you to give everything you own to Rapid Fire Theatre. If you'd care to donate less than 100% of your wealth, I'm sure we can negotiate. Hey, 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 no, 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 don't. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs>